Hello everybody, my name is Cycle Hunter, and uh, I just finished the live stream, and ready just to get on YouTube, have some like videos play in the background while I fucking edit some videos and shit, like the fucking round twos for fucking, uh, well, not round twos, but the PXD tournaments shit, and upload those videos. So here's the thing. I got on, and fir first thing, first thing I fucking saw... First thing I fucking see by the one and only going out here. Did a little stuff. Uh, he is somebody. He is, well, I think one of the top 500 Overwatch players, and he does get invited by Overwatch Blizzard themselves to have him come and play test some things. I watched him recently talk about uh, top 500 players going out and playing PVE. Playing the PvE that got dumbed down, and they even complained that the replayability is a little lacking, but it was still fun. It's just also legendary for these players. Felt immensely easy. So, now... Now he has a new video that just came out five hours ago. Called, uh... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Overwatch next PvE probably coming in 2024. Let's watch. The next round of Overwatch 2 PvE story missions will launch at some point in 2024, most likely towards the middle of the year. Now, here's the thing. At first, I was like, okay. I mean, that's just them saying it, though, right? Uh, yeah, don't expect the, the next round, you know. In People don't recognize this walled background and guy that crushed our fucking dreams. Again, he's back again to crush our fucking dreams. With this news! But just to just, just PvE story missions will launch at some point in 2024, more. most likely towards the middle of the year. Uh, yeah, don't expect the, the next round, you know, in the next season or the season after that or anything like that. But it is very much like uh, trying to find that balance between getting them in front of players quickly because we, we love story stuff mm -hmm. and, um, uh, uh, and giving ourselves enough time uh, to actually like make changes or add features or, or do whatever. Enough time? Enough time. When the fuck was Overwatch 2 fucking announced? 2019. 2019. We've been waiting. Four fucking years for motherfucking PVE, bitch. They had four fucking years. The way they made it seem, it was because it wasn't done because they were trying to get all the goddamn skill trees to work. Which wasn't working. But it implied that PvE was finished. Done. Able to be launched. Are you telling me these past four years, the only missions in this whole campaign? That Blizzard has worked on is three, three fucking missions. Oh, son of a bitch, dude! Why? Why does it? Why? Why does every fucking news? Why does every fucking news outlet? That comes from fucking Overwatch. <laughs> this feels like it's just them giving you purple nurples, and then you're like, ah. 
<laughs> Why? Why does it always feel like that? I hate this. But now, with that said, we're going to watch the rest of the video because they, he does go more into depth. Because uh, it's, it's more assumption, really, than actual fact. So heads up there. Uh, to, make them, to make them more compelling. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. So Emong actually hosted an excellent interview with Jared Noose uh, over on his Twitch channel. Uh, Jared is obviously the executive producer of Overwatch 2. And uh, yeah, he dropped this bombshell. So just to reiterate it, this is what he said. Don't expect the next round in the next season and the season after that or anything like that. It is very much like trying to find. But that's the thing. There is no even ground we need. That's literally what everybody is asking for. That's the problem with Overwatch right now is that they don't go for what we ask for. They just go for whatever they want to do. That's all they go for. They don't go for what the community is asking for. The community is asking for PvE. At this point, just PvE. That is all we are asking for. But for some reason, instead of us getting like the missions throughout the goddamn season or whatever, we don't even get that. All we're getting is just three a goddamn season. But then now, from what it's sounding like, it's just archive event. That that's all it is. It's just gonna be another archive event. And that's that's all it sounds like it will ever be. That balance between getting in front of plays quickly because we love story stuff and giving ourselves enough time to make changes or add features. Now, if you take that quote and you break that down, that's just basically saying, look guys, we're still working on the PVE stuff. We're gonna take feedback from this round of PVE, which is good, and then- But it's still ridiculous though, man. It's still ridiculous though. It's ridiculous that this shit is having to be fucking, it's just ridiculous that it's happening in general. We're going to implement some changes for the next round of PVE, which is good. However, we don't know how I, long. I guess, but I just want PVE, man. Fuck PVP. Long that is, and we're expecting it to be some point in 2024 because he's talking multiple seasons down the line. Minimum three seasons before we get the next bit of content. If I was a betting man, I'd actually probably say it's most likely that they're probably just going to do one of these pve drops every year and it's almost like that's the big season of the year so i guess maybe season 12 next year we get another three of these missions to play season 12 <sighs> play through something like that anyway that's all wild speculation there is another quote here which actually i think is a bit more telling as to what's going on with the pve to be fair, there's a bunch of stuff that we want. Yeah, I just want to, I want to read it myself. Then. To be fair, there's a bunch of stuff that we want to do next year. Or that are already in development for next year. That will fill the gaps that people will have in between, said Ness Newest. Uh, we're trying to make it so that it doesn't feel like, and then there's nothing for a long extended period of time. It's more like, there's this cool thing, and then there's this other narrative thing. There's this other narrative thing. We keep telling interesting stories and movies. I don't, I don't care about that. So what you're saying is you're going to give us a quest, but then you want us to get interested in side quests. Side shit. Side shit. Side shit. Side shit. I don't want to know side shit. I want to play Overwatch. I want to be an Overwatch operative, god fucking damn it. I don't give a shit about, we keep telling interesting story. Bitch, you haven't told an interesting story since, like, the fucking announcement of Overwatch. <laughs> don't say, oh, we keep telling interesting stories. Y'all haven't told us shit yet. You can't say it's interesting, and then next thing you know, it's not interesting. It's like what y'all did with Life Weaver saying, oh, he's a main healer. He's an off healer. He's nowhere close to main healing to do next year or that are already in that's, that's no no thing. god damn it we keep telling interesting stories and moving that all forward right then this is him saying that it's not all about in-game story missions guys it's about all of our external stuff that we're going to do we already know we're going to get the sort of mini anime series of which i think the episode Okay, yeah, that's the other thing I was actually going to make a video on next time. 
which was uh, the whole animated thing. But here's the thing. I think at this point, from what they're giving us, just make the whole story animated. I would I would prefer the whole story be animated at this point than play a shitty fucking archive mission. Because not just that, we get to see them go full ham. We get to see their abilities grow. We get to see all that. To whereas now it just feels like we're just playing a shitty version of Overwatch. And I don't mean that like because there's no talent trees. No, that's what the archives technically was. It technically was just a shitty version of Overwatch. Uh, because you just use the main PvP abilities, and that's it. That's what's gonna happen with these fucking archive missions. That's what I'm gonna call them at this point. Because th there's really nothing. I mean, come on. Those are basically ranging from five to six minutes in length, and there's three of those um, episodes. Uh, so that's gonna add a bit of lore. There's gonna be cinematics. There's gonna be other bits and pieces. So not strictly we're going to just be getting experiences that we play through that progress the law. And I can understand that. But obviously players are a bit miffed because they want to play through a meaty PvE experience. Of course, yeah. we've gone through the whole drama of the talent system being removed from the hero missions. Basically oh, removing replayability. We've seen what content creators have recently said after they went to Blizzard and played one of these story missions saying there is no replayability here. And... It I mean, that's what they said they were taking out, too. They said they were just taking out the replayability because they don't care about the replayability. They care about an experience. Bitch, I want to replay the fucker. An experience is more fun than having a first time playing it. I'd rather have a fun-ass time experience with my friends and multiplay it constantly for maybe different endings, different stupid shit that happens, or something like that. But... Overwatch, if it's just playing it for a shitty little story mission, there's no point. And then not just that, it's going to leave us on a cliffhanger and it's going to do exactly what Miles Morales is going to do. And that's just leave us for a good fucking year. Like, come on. It was on. kind of easy. Although, remember, those guys are like top 500 absolute legends at the game. So it would be easy to them. But still, no re replayability is kind of sad. Because you don't have to tie difficulty into replayability. There is none. It's literally a linear story that you experience. And that's it. So very little reason to go back and play this content. Which is super disappointing. You can also start looking at this in a pretty negative way. And you can say, you start saying things like, well, if they're waiting for feedback after these first three missions, have they not finished the next missions? Are they nowhere? Like, where are they in development? Like, what's going on? That's what it sounds like. I mean, it just sounds like they didn't fucking work on anything. Gone. Um, haven't you finished them? You would have expected these to be ready to go. Because you know, remember, this is something that's been in development for years and years and years. So it seems yeah. a bit worrying that maybe, potentially, these things aren't wrapped up yet. They're not finished. They're not being... That's what's scary and that's what's concerning about these devs now is that they just fucking didn't do shit for this all this time. And it might have been because of the whole controversy shit that was going on with Blizzard. Maybe that's what was doing it. But goddamn, it's it's not working. It's really not working. Developed. Although I would I would honestly believe they are being developed to some degree. And it's maybe just a comment that Jared has made there to just sort I, of say, I, I like, hey, doubt we're listening guy, to the sorry. community. Yeah, we'll take feedback and yeah, we'll do that when maybe it's further along in development than it is. So if I had to bet on this, I would say. Um, I don't think it comes as any shock that 2024 is going to be the next time we get any kind of PvE story mission. It's, it's sad. It's really sad. Because I really want to love Overwatch again. I really want to, like, enjoy playing it as much as possible again which i do with the gameplay the gameplay is what makes it phenomenal but they're not giving me much of a reason to stay in it everything's just like there's no point in staying it just feels like get the fuck out and then that's it so at this point i think after season six after these 
stories are told, if they're not gripping enough to like leave me wanting to wait till next season or anything like that for the next set of missions, which might be all the way in 2024, which again might sound like that's going to be in the middle of the goddamn year again. So in other words, it's just archive missions. That's all it's going to be. I I I'm just going to delete the fucker and then I'll I'll play it, I'll delete it and then I'll redownload it when that shit launches. But it it just doesn't seem worth it at this point anymore. Let's let's watch the uh, God, he, he's only halfway. They're giving us three missions now and they're going to come in August. And then we get going to get another season and then the next season will be I, mean, I would hope it'd be like that at least, but at the same time, I think a lot of people would be pissed about that too. Why is it going to be every other we'll season? It shouldn't be every other season. It feels like it should just be like set and ready to go. Because if anything, what they could do, and they could do this, what they could do is actually, because technically the next season, uh, season six would end in October. If I'm correct, if my timing's correctly on that. Um, because I believe it starts August 5th. So technically, that season would end on October... October 10th of anything, maybe. I'm not sure. But if it ends there, they could just make the PvE mission the fucking Junkenstein thing. Like the Junkenstein's uh, Revenge of the Bride thing, they could have done something with that, or continued the story, or just continued something with it. And then there you go, that's your set of PVE missions. And then same thing with the Abominable Snowman. You can technically do a PVE event with that shit too. The only event I think you wouldn't be able to do would be like... Like, okay, if they want to do side mission shit, like to hold us off from playing the actual story mission stuff... I think they have the resources to do it. They just don't want to do it. And that's what's really pissing me off about. It. Because they did it with the Junkenstein event. They really did it with the Junkenstein event. And the Junkenstein event came out really fucking good. I like the Junkenstein event. But I feel like it's just going to be the same old event next year. Which if it is, if it really is, that shows you Overwatch's longevity. Of being around not long next year and then the season after that um maybe we get something then i don't know i would probably bet like i said earlier on in the video on them just straight up doing one of these events a year maybe they do three missions maybe they don't maybe there's the odd season where we just get a random mission added to the game if they've got an excess mission or a surplus mission that they've made i don't know i guess the moral of this story is it's still going to feel very um disconnected because this is supposed to be a story that's yeah. delivered in one go, but instead they're segmenting it and pushing it out across battle passes over who knows how many years. So it's going to be hard, I think, for them to keep player interest in these little PvE events when they do pop up. And there is another way of looking at this as well. Is this an admission that PvE really is not a focus of this game anymore? We all know, and we've all been... Yeah, yeah, no, in all honesty. Well, I mean, they said it too. They said they want to focus more on PvP. Like, they, they, hands out, said it. That, yeah, look, it looks like there's more. Yeah, more people are saying it. That's not good. That is really not good. Um, It's sad to hear. I hate to hear that, that apparently now we're going to wait till 2024 for fucking more missions. Um... I think I'm going to say fuck it and buy it, but that's mainly for y'all guys, so then y'all guys don't even have to fucking, like, play the shit and waste fucking money on that shit. Because that, that shit's ridiculous. It is fucking ridiculous that they are doing this. It's sad. It really, God, it's really fucking sad, man. They ju they're just reintroducing Archive Event. That's all they're doing. <laughs> they're just reintroducing the Archive Event. Oh my god. Ah. Either way, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys made it to the end of this video, uh, thank y'all. I'm sorry for the news, but holy fucking shit. This is bad. This is really fucking bad.
All right. Bye, you guys, next time. Peace.